Hello and welcome to this video on one of the research projects at the Laboratory of Hydraulics, Hydrology and Glaciology at ETH Zurich. Reservoir dams, like this impressive structure, are important for sustainable water management. They produce renewable electricity, supply irrigation and drinking water and provide flood protection. There are several elements that ensure the safe and reliable operation of these large dams, including so-called low-level outlets. The main purpose of these low-level outlets is to lower the reservoir level during emergencies or from maintenance works. In this longitudinal profile you can see a middle and a bottom outlet which are both considered low-level outlets. The bottom outlet is located at the lowest point in the reservoir and typically goes below or around the dam through one of the abutments. A low-level outlet consists of a pressurized part connected to the gate chamber and followed by an outlet tunnel. At the gate, the flow transitions from pressurized to free surface flow, creating a high velocity water jet with up to 40 meters per second for large dams. This high velocity water jet may lead to issues related to flow induced vibrations or cavitation damage. In addition, the water jet transports a lot of air out of the tunnel, what may further aggravate the situation. Therefore, a sufficient supply of air through an air vent system is important for a smooth operation of low-level outlets. In our research project, we provided new design recommendations for such air supply systems and provided a detailed description of air water flow properties inside of low-level outlets. For this purpose, we built a small-scale model in our lab that enables us to study the relevant processes. So let's go and have a closer look. Here at the model, we use pumps connected to this pipe to simulate the pressures that occur in real-world dams. The pressurized pipe is connected to the gate chamber and the flow transitions from pressurized to free surface flow here at the gate. The fully adjustable gate together with the frequency controlled pumps allows to study a wide range of gate openings and pressures resulting in flow velocities of up to 23 meters per second here in the contraction. These high flow velocities are necessary to limit scale effects and enable an adequate upscaling to prototype scale. The gate introduces a strong disturbance to the flow that results in a complex vortex structure, which we can visualize using dye injections. These vortices are transported downstream and create a violent flow pattern with so-called shock waves, where the flow is shooting up on both sides of the tunnel and strong spray formation occurs. On the other side of the gate chamber, you can get a better look at the air vent that supplies air to the tunnel. In real dams, such an air vent can easily reach a length of 100 meters or more. To optimize air vent design, we tested different air vent diameters and we used orifice plates like this one here to change the air vent characteristics and study its effects on outlet performance. Further downstream, you can see that the flow becomes more developed and strong mixing leads to air entrainment. The entrained air significantly changes the flow properties and needs to be considered in the design. To measure air water flow properties, we use so-called face detection probes like the one here. During measurement, they're attached to this linear unit to allow for an automated data collection. A face detection probe consists of two tips that can detect the presence of air bubbles or water droplets based on a change in electrical conductivity. When then comparing the signals from both tips, we can estimate the flow velocity of these bubbles and droplets. However, measuring at these high flow velocities here is quite challenging and we're constantly optimizing the design of the probes. In a recent study, we were able to observe the measurement of air bubbles using a super slow motion camera. With a special setup, we could observe the bubble piercing from two perspectives, front and side view, at the same time. These observations allow us to better understand our measurements and improve their accuracy. Finally, to validate that what you're measuring here at the model scale actually translates to real dams, we went to the 225 meter high Luzone Dam to measure air demand and air water flow properties at full scale. The following images give you an impression of the challenging installation procedure and the measurements of flow velocities up to 40 meters per second. 